Right, we've now gone back to our main song again. In fact, um, I've actually enhanced now some of the parts um, so you get a little more uh, to listen to. Um, what we're going to talk about now is time signature changes, i.e. changing the time signature during the piece of music. Now, there's various ways of doing this. Let's just pick the simplest way for now. First of all, go up to Menu Edit and enable time signature changes by clicking on it. Click. You can now see if we go back there, it's got a tick against it to show that it's enabled. Now let's just say that at, at bar 3 we wanted to go into 3-4 time as opposed to 4-4 four, four time. Using the square brackets, scroll the main bar counter to bar 3 where the change happens. And then change the time signature for that bar to 3-4. Then let's say at bar 4 it goes back to 4-4 four, four time, so move on to bar 4, simply change it back to 4-4. Four, four. So now if we go back and watch that through, time here at the moment. As soon as it gets to bar 3, it goes to 3-4 and then to 4-4. Four, four. Obviously it doesn't fit, doesn't fit the PC music, but that's how you could put time signature changes into your PC music. You can put in many in as you like. If you make a mistake and don't like them and want to delete them, simply go back to Menu Edit and click on Signature Changes and it will say, do you want to delete all of these changes? You just say, yes please. So that's time signature changes within your piece of music.